the developers who have procured the paid subscription of Tally Developer Night would typically have to perform the following four steps of TDL program lifecycle from development to deployment. Creating the files and project. Checking the syntax errors and debugging. Creating the TCP file. Deploying the TCP, that is, linking the TCP within Tally. Let us now go through the life cycle with the help of a walkthrough demo. Open Tally Developer 9. To create a project, click on File menu and select New Project. The Project Properties window will open. Provide the project name and choose the location. The project files will have an extension as .tpj. By default, the output location would be the same. However, the output extension would be .tcp. In case you have not created any text files, you need to click on Add New Files and create a new .txt or .ddl file. If the file already exists, you can simply click on Add Existing Files and choose the files to add. Expand the project pane and select the text file in which you want to start writing your code. After completion of code, save the file Click on Build menu and select Compile Project At the Output pane in the Build tab, you would notice that there is an error displayed. Double click on this and your cursor would be pointed to the error. Make necessary changes, save the file and once again select Compile Project. The output pane shows zero errors and warnings. Now the project is ready to be built to create the TCP file. To minimize the leakage of revenue for the integrator, the file can be locked for only particular tally serial numbers. Click on the license menu and select Manage Customer Serials. A window would pop up on the screen. Click on Add Serial and provide customer name and tally serial number. Click on Done to save and close the window. Right click on the project and click on Properties. The Project Properties window will open. 
click on build options tab only after you select the checkbox against authorization required the target serials in the block would be active give a tick mark against the serials to which you would like to provide this file After saving the settings, click on the build menu and select build to build the project. You can also build the project by right clicking on the project and selecting build. This creates the TCP file whose details are displayed in the output window. The process for deployment of the TCP file in Tally ERP9 is as follows. Open Tally ERP9. Go to F12 Products and Features. Press the Manage Local TDLs button or F4. The TDL configuration screen would open. Set Load TDLs on Startup to Yes. Provide the file name along with its extension and path. Go back to Gateway of Tally. You would be able to see your newly added menu item. Double click or press enter on it and the report would be displayed. For the developers who have currently opted for an educational or evaluation version of DD9, the life cycle from development to deployment would be a two-step process. Creation of DDL files, deploying it to Tally. Open Tally Developer 9. Create a file, click on the file menu and select new file. Provide the name of the text file and save. The text file thus created can be seen in the project window. Type the code within the file. of the code, save the file. For deploying the file, open Tally ERP9. Go to F12, Products and Features. Press the Manage Local TDLs button or F4. The TDL configuration screen would open. Set load TDLs on startup to yes and provide the file name along with its extension and path. After going back to Gateway of Tally, you would be able to see your newly added menu item. Selecting the menu item will trigger the report.